is Sky One, a part of the British Sky Broadcasting Network. to Games World. Tonight is Fight Night with Beat the Elite. Welcome, 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 indeed welcome. Yes, it is Games World, it's Friday, which when we play Beat the Elite. And here we are, the modern day equivalent of the medieval jazz, where the young blaze of the country come together and take each other on in tournaments. And on Monday... <laughs> In fact, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that Rashid is so good, he's not even bothering with a joystick. <laughs> you going to pick it up? There you go. So you're waiting, for, you're waiting for a servant to come on and do it for you, are you? Yeah, you pick up your joystick. This right, is going to be ready? a hell of a night, Bob, isn't it? This is the one. 60 seconds. 60 as seconds. many as you can. You ready? Wait for the bell. And the time starts now. OK, and here we are, back at Mill Street once again. As you can see, Bob's house is bottom left. Now, he's running around, he's got to try and pick up as many coins as possible and avoiding the robots along the way. He can actually punch them out of the way. Um, they're a bit stupid, luckily. The key thing in the game, as we... As find the cluster. Absolutely. As regular viewers will know, that's the catchphrase, find the cluster. That, that top right is where we're looking at the moment. Ra one of Rashid's best um, pieces of advice I can give him, actually, is to listen to us down here, because we can actually tell him where to go. And at the moment, bottom, bottom right is looking good. Top right as well. Now, that was an icon he just ran over. No, it wasn't a speed up. In fact, that did absolutely nothing, which um, <laughs> is a bit, a bit strange. Every time, of course, he hits a monster, he gets, he gets about a second in which he's immobilised, yeah. which holds him up. There's, now, there's a good cluster. He's actually doing not at all badly. He's got, well, he's 19 seconds left, 36. He can go through the 50. Speed up, one. Speed up there. Nice job. He's just running to the hot dog stand. At least I think it's a hot dog stand. And he's running away again. Yeah, he's doing very well. Come on, Rashid. Don't seconds. get stuck on the scenery. Away we go. Yeah, avoid the monsters. He's coming up. 48. How's he doing? You're counting him down from four. He's got 50 at the moment. He's doing extremely well here. Yep. And Bob, at the end of that first round, Rashid has scored 54 points. That's good. You've got enough points to start. Now, just let me explain to the people at home what we do now. What will happen is we're about to play the first video game. Now, Tim will explain this, and then we'll ask Rashid to vote, to bet on it, right, how many of his points he's going to bet on it, and then, and only then, we'll go over to the Wheel of Misfortune and find out who he's going to be playing. So, to start off, Tim, explain the game, please. For sure, Bob, the, the second game tonight is King of the Monsters 2. This game is monstrous fun on the Neo Geo. The characters we've chosen to play tonight are Super Gion. He's a sort of a huge, massive lizard who sort of eats tower blocks for a living, and he's up against Cyber Wu best described as a metallic monkey who likes to throw aeroplanes in his spare time. These guys are huge, they really go for it, so let's join in, let's have a wrestle, let's have a laugh, let's trash the city. Rashid, any good at that? Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, quieten down a bit there, Rashid, don't get carried away. <laughs> well then tell us, how many of your hard-earned points do you want to bet? How good are you? Ten. Ten? Ten? Ten's good? You think ten? Yeah, ten. I know, ten. Ten. If he thinks he's only ten points good enough, then there you go. Ten, you're betting. Take the mallet. Now, let me explain what happens now. Uh, this will spin round. Electronic random selection. When you bang your mallet on there, wherever it stops, that's the video that you're going to be having to pit your wits against. So I was going to ask you, please, in the heavens, to spin the wheel. And in your own time, Rush, you give it a good whack. It's the game's messiah! And we are in the presence of something very special. A silver cape inside which you will find the game's messiah. This is the man who won at Super Tennis last time out, which puts him on cloud nine. And can he repeat that success? I think he can. Game's messiah, one of the great spirits of games played. A uh, great pleasure, as always, to have you on the show. Now, you're playing him at King of the Monsters. Obviously, for the King of Peace, this is quite a a different sort of game. Last time you were on, you were brilliant in Super Tennis. How are you going to do today? Well, I think I'll be playing Super Gion, uh, the god 
villa type creature. Mm -hmm. With him, I'll be able to jump up into the heavens, then return to the earth. We can have it across the land. An old trick taught to me by my father. What do you think? But I'll seem to you know, excuse none of what he said. I'll just translate that for you slightly. We don't think you can achieve none of what you said. Well, I have uh, the powers with me. Well, we'll see. Let's see what your powers can do when faced with the, with the pure laughter that this man has for you. Can I ask you, please, to join battle and take your places at the console? <laughs> I like this one. I like the cut of his beard. No, he's not. He's not an eloquent guy. He's not a hypostatorial elegant. Hang on, hang on. Who are you talking about? The Messiah or... Uh, no. Uh, no, no, sorry. Talking about sorry. Rashid, sorry, obviously. Sorry. We're, in <laughs> we're in for Battle of the Giants tonight. Now, the Messiah's over on the right. He's playing Super Gion, as you already explained. Huge lizard-type creature. Rashid is over on the left, playing Cyber Woo. Best described as a metallic monkey, really. If you're quite ready, it's the best of three. But if someone should win the first two, obviously that will be the end of it. If you're quite ready with your pads, the game will start. Battle will commence when you hear this bell, and that will be right now. OK, where are we going? They're straight into battle. As you can see, oh, excellent play. Now, the key thing about this game is that there are, like, three levels of power-ups that each player can do. Now, the Lizard, which is Gion, of course, his first level of power-up is the huge spike. The second are, like, a, a flames, which you may see later. And if we get to the final power-up, he can actually summon up a huge earthquake, which has got to be seen to be believed. <laughs> But these, this is intense battle, actually. These guys are good. Over on the right, though, the Messiah is actually just come down for a big earthquake. I don't know if you saw that top right there. Yeah. He jumps off the top of the screen, summons his trainer up in the heavens above, and then comes down with a huge earthquake once again. Devastating damage there. Up at the top of the screen, you can see the damage indicator, which tells you roughly how well each one is doing. Now, Cyber has come back with a huge backdrop. That was a real winner, and the Messiah's in trouble. This is looking good. He's back in again. The Messiah's in serious trouble here. Oh, excellent play. Cyberwoo's coming in with more, with more. I actually thought the Messiah would have this one licked, but no. Rashid has come in and proved he's a player up with the best of them. Once again, a bit of strategy involved, testing each other out. Cyberwoo just keeps getting up. Now he, you can actually see him picking up buildings, which he can actually then throw at, at the Messiah, at his opponent. And once again, they're in a, they're in a tight clinch, and he's just hit him on a, with the spikes of his back. <laughs> key thing in this game, Bob, is to pick up the buildings whenever you can. Actually use the city against your opponent. Once again, Cyberu, great backdrop coming down. Oh, excellent play. Of course, and that's, it's all over for the Messiah in the first round. Round one, one to Rashid. One nil to Rashid. Get yourselves ready because the second game will start straight away. Excellent stuff. Now, of course, as you can see, power-ups appear from time to time. That was a good tail swipe there the Messiah used. Really handy little piece of weaponry. The power-ups which, which uh, appear, you can use them to actually boost your power and stay alive. Um, the Lizard's going in, now Messiah's not mucking around, but Cyberwoo once again gets him in that devastating top throw. The Messiah has got to learn how to lick that if he's going to get anywhere. The Lizard is in big trouble here. Once again, hits him with a... With a oh, and once again, more trouble. The Messiah's using his tail spin once again. Good standoff match, this. Good standoff match. Two good players. Cyberwoo is moving in trying to position himself for the kill and he's actually is he about to split he was trying to split there and said no he's out it's one all it's one all what we actually saw there was uh Rashi was trying to split into two which is his third stage power up which if he'd been able to do it would have been spectacular but unfortunately he was stopped midway by the messiah and now it's just a straight wrestling contest down on the spikes good play good moving is the messiah yes he's using the city block but he's missed with the throw that actually was, a, I think that actually was, um, what was that? I think that was the presidential palace, I'm not quite sure. In goes the lizard with it, with a back sweep once again. This is very tight. Well, as I say, we're at one all. It's all on this. Big power up just picked up by the messiah there. Good Come on. Play. All the time, Rashi's trying to move in to get the throw. Obviously, throws are his forte, if he can move in close enough to do them. But one, this one's down to the lizard, a back one again. Good throw, using the spikes on his back. The messiah's definitely got the upper hand here. He's got more power, more strength. Can he keep it up? He's now walked into the... No! Oh. The Cyborg's got him in another back row. Good stuff. Real standoff game. Excellent. Oh. Can he get the spikes there? Yes, again. Losing more power. Rashi's in serious trouble. Unless he can get up and get a power up quickly, it could all very soon be over. Very soon. He's in serious trouble. Is that it? Yes. Yes, that's it. He's all over. And Bob, at the end of that thrilling contest, Rashi is down to 44 points. Game to Messiah. Once again, 
once again, you've risen above these mere mortals. Sweet smell of success definitely in his nostrils, <laughs> along with all the others. Um, but I think Rashid actually could give him a good run for his money. And who's playing what? OK, well, at the top of the screen, that's, that's Toad, which is played by Rashid, and, and Rad's down the bottom playing Cooper Trooper. Let's see how it actually comes out at the end. You ready? When you hear the bell, you can start. And you'll hear that bell right now. Away we go. Good start from both players. The key thing here is to weed your way through the field as fast as possible so you don't get people in your way. You need to go off to a really good start and get right up to the front as soon as you can, which both of them seem to have been doing. Neither of them have got a turbo start, but they've both got a fairly respectable start. Toad's in trouble, actually, at the top. As you can see, Rashi's not having great time, but he's now slipped back into fifth place. But Rad's down the bottom there as Cooper is right up in second with just Luigi in front. Now, Luigi's just gone sort of magical, which means that Cooper, could, if he'd hit him, would have been in trouble. But, oh, it's very close. Rad's cutting corners, desperately trying not to touch him, shooting past. Good stuff from Red down the bottom here. Toad at the top is in a bit of trouble, actually. Rashid is laying the side down just to tell him. He needs to raise his game a touch. He's even getting trouble from Mario up the back there, which is uh, not a good place to have trouble so at all. Red's gone clear. Yeah, absolutely. Red's up the front. No, in fact, Red's now back in the second. He's having serious Luigi trouble. The computer is... Oh, and he's just had a spin as well. I think he's just hit Super Luigi, which, and he's just been passed by Princess Daisy. This is a rather no. poor effort by both the players, actually, at the moment. We should expect them both to be out front by now, but no, the computer's whopping the pair of them. Come on, guys, raise your game. But Rashid's is taking it up. Rashid stormed into the lead. Rashid, yeah, he's taken up. Rashid's now at the top there, number three. Princess Daisy's behind him. Final, Final lap. lap. Excellent. Well, uh, you'd expect Rashid to be winning at this point. Brad's in serious trouble. I don't quite know what went wrong. Perhaps we can find out afterwards. All of a sudden, it just seemed to go wrong for him. He took a serious tumble. But at the top, it's Rashid definitely all the way. Running up to their finishing line now. <laughs> and Bob, at the end of that thrilling contest, Rashid's back up to 54 points. Rally on automatic. Now, you know what's happened now. You've been beaten, and not for the first time, I have to say. OK, so what you have to do now... Oh, no, not just goodbye. Not just the walk out. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like you to do is vent your feelings for the performance of this man. Radion, get down there, take a shower, get out of my ring! <laughs> So what have we got? We've got Rashid, who started off with a defeat, has pulled it back with a win. He's now back to 54 points. And his whole life is stretching before him like a golden vista. And we'll see how well he can do in the second half when you join us, please, after this break. This is a street fighting game. This is the one in which you get to choose from eight characters, roam around the world, fighting them. Uh, using your fists, your feet, your teeth, anything you've got, basically. There are no rules in this game because it's Street Fighter 2. It's the business. Uh, you ever played this before? Yeah. Yeah? Once or twice. Any good? You got 54 points, Rashid. Let's get straight down to business. Let's get our cards on the table. How many do you want to bet? 40. 40. Say again. 40. 14. 14. 14. 14. Yeah. 14. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care, do you? You don't care. Just give me the mallet before I stuff it down your throat, you're saying. Take the mallet off me. Let this spin round, and let's hope that you get someone that you can perhaps have a chance against. Please, spin the wheel, and this time give it a proper whack, all right? The Executioner! Oh dear, oh dear, Rashid, what have you done? You've picked the Executioner to play you as Street Fighter 2. This is the man who is the champion of champions. He's never been beaten at anything, let alone video games. He's going to win again, isn't he? What can you do? The executioner. And can I just say that normally when this man comes in, there is a chill and I get it more. But you know something? I feel a little bit more confident just standing by my man Rashid. I think you're there for the taking. I don't know why, but I've just got this feeling, right? And I shouldn't have, because this is, this is the pride of the elite. This is the man that doesn't lose. But I've just got this feeling that I want to get on with this. Please, both of you, take your positions. At the console. I don't know. I know it's wrong. I know it's misguided. But just, uh, just standing next to Rashid, the man just gives off this aura of well, nothing can touch. In fact, they've both got the same quality, haven't they? They're both silent but deadly. Um, the key thing to remember here is uh, they're both so good they're actually going to pre-program their buttons. I can also tell you right now that they've both opted to play Guile. So what you're going to have is the executioner on the right playing Guile and Rashid on the left playing Guile, but in different colours. Best out of three. If anyone wins the first two games, obviously that's it. If you're quite ready, gentlemen, 
The game will start when you hear this bell. Best of luck to both of you. The game starts right now. They've chosen to play in USA, which is, um, which is actually Giles' stage. Very fitting. These guys are such experts, they program their buttons earlier on. And straight away, good, good play here. Great play. Both the, both the players chesting each other out. This is... Actually, this is awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Rashid's doing extremely well. He's in brown, by the way, and the execution is over in green. Both these players, it's a standoff, and Rashid's taking the first round. He's taking a round from the executioner. Are we in for an upset? So we, all we can do is wait and see. Can Rashid follow that up? Rashid in brown again. Can he follow that up? The executioner over in green, still wide, fighting time. Great throw from the executioner there. In for more action. Yes, brilliant somersault kick. Can, yes, and a sonic boom as well. Can the executioner make the most of this? No, because Rashid gets in a throw. This is top class play. These guys are good. They just stand off on sonic booms. Oh, great throw from Rashid. He got there first. He's won. He's beaten the executioner. Zero, zero, zero. The executioner has been beaten, which means that Rashid is on nine.